Beloved in Christ, I welcome you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beloved, let us pray. Almighty Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, this is another day that you have given to your children, the bread that we are alive around the whole world. Almighty God, you are so faithful and kind. We thank you for the bread. We thank you that your children, we are still alive. We give you all the glory for a moment like this because you own life. We thank you for another day that you have given us a word. And may your word come forth. Mighty Jehovah, this is an empty vessel that you can use to glorify yourself. May your name be praised. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. He is so good. This is another day that the almighty Jehovah has given us a message. And without wasting time, the title of the message, Christ is internal life. Hallelujah. And we go to the scripture which is 1 John 5, 11. And I read 1 John 5, 11. And this is the testimony that God has given us, internal life. And this life is in his son, 12. He who has the son has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. Beloved, if you don't have the son of God, that means you don't have life. That means you don't have Christ and Christ is the life. The knowledge about life of a man is Christ. Christ is the life and the life was the light of a man. Everything that has breath have life, hallelujah. The life is in the blood of a man, and we all know, without the blood, a man will not survive. The internal life is Christ, that who gives life, and the owner of life. We thank him this morning. We give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us continue. In Matthew, and the verse is 20. Matthew 20, chapter 20, rather, and the verse is 28. Let's hear the word of God. Oh, we give him all the glory. Just as the Son of Man did not come to serve, but to save and to give his life as a ransom for many. Beloved, it is only Christ who has life. It is only Christ that can save. Jesus Christ came to give us life as a ransom for mankind. So life without Christ is meaningless and is useless. The Holy Spirit in us, let us move and have our being. So as we are the offspring of God. Life is so precious. It is about our Lord, the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us salvation. And yet, mankind is refusing to accept him as their personal savior. It is a choice if you want internal life or death. Internal life is to be with Christ forever. And without Christ, you cannot make it. And internal life, without Christ, the soul will be separated. The internal life is a joyful of him and his righteousness and his holiness. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us continue. In Ecclesiastes, and the verse is 18, the verse 
Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 8.15. Let us hear the word of God. So I commanded, I commanded, enjoyment because of a man has nothing better under the sun than to eat, drink, and be merry, for this will remain with him in the labor all the days of his life. What God gave him under the sun. Beloved, all this that was mentioned in Christiastes 8.15 means man do not or does not want to see God. And it will be approach upon a man. It will be a unity. It will be vanity without Christ. Beloved, let us serve God. And there is a joy in our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord needs our hearts. So let us give our hearts unto him. He will make it pure for himself because he alone is worthy. Hallelujah. Beloved, let's continue in Philippians 2. And the verse is 12. Oh, we give God the glory. Master Jesus is so wonderful. Let's hear about Philippians 2 and the verse is 12. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my present only, but now how much more in absence, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Beloved, this is about salvation. About working out about our salvation. Let God be with us. That is, salvation is freely. He has given it to us, to mankind. And yet, people are rejecting it. That is disobedient. And a man must repent. And without Christ, you cannot make it. We have to accept him as our personal savior. The greatest gift that man can ever have. Beloved, only Christ alone has eternal life. As he is the owner of life. And he alone provides life. Hallelujah. Our life is his. May God have mercy upon us. May his countenance be upon us. And may the salvation given to mankind be a permanent as we accept him, as we walk with him. Oh, he alone deserves to be glory. He alone to be said, deserve to worship and to praise. Immortal everlasting God, we give you all the glory because you are a faithful father. May your will be done upon our life. Oh, it's, this is about your message so that souls will be saved. And those who are not without Christ, beloved, I don't know. This is, that in, this is the moment for them to repent and to accept Christ as their personal savior. As this message is coming to the end, may God Almighty bless his message for the souls who are willing to listen to his message. We honor him, we glorify him for the protection that he has given to us today. Oh, Jehovah, merciful God, may your will shall be done. In your mighty name, all things are possible. May God bless his servant, the end time prophet, that he has ordained to win souls for his kingdom. 
and also his listeners, may they be blessed and be protected. And also the prophet and his family, may they be, pro may they be protected and guided by God only because he alone has called him. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are possible. We give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.